that. What's the question again? Why is society confused about what is a woman, but quick to define what a man is and should be doing? Like a real man. Because women are confusing, and we don't really know for real. I think society is equally confused about both of them. I don't think that, like... You think I just so? think women more emotional than yeah. men. Like, that's just... Okay, well, let me... Okay, what, what do you th who do you think has more concrete gender roles um, uh, today? Uh, which gender has more concrete gender roles that they're expected to adhere to, mm -hmm. men or women? Can you explain that better? Today? Yeah. Can you explain today. that question better? Okay, I'll, I'll ask it again. Um... Which gender, between men or women, has more concrete gender roles that they're expected to stick to? Men or men. women? Men. men. I feel like men. I, Hold I, on, I'll I, go around. Okay. Uh, I feel like it's equal. If you had to pick one, even if it's a 51, 49%, who do you think has more concrete gender roles that they're expected to stick to by society? I'm going to still go with equal because think, we hold men to certain standards and requirements when it comes, and men do too. So, Do you think men hold women to the to the same strictness of standards that women that women are held to? I just feel like it's equal. Interesting. Okay. Uh, just real quick, we can do a raise of hands. How many do you think men are more held to their gender role standards? Okay, that's the majority. And then two of you think women. Uh, you think it's the other way around. Women are held to their standards more. I think it's more so equal, just in very different ways. So but you think it's equal too? Yeah. Yeah. It depending on what what's the topic. Okay. So, tell me why you think it's equal. I just feel like you can. There's a lot of different uh, examples that you can think of for either side as to gender roles that are still enforced today. Okay, I disagree with both of you, and I'll tell you why. Um, I think with men, right? If you're not held, if you're not like masculine, have your shit together financially, in the gym, training, etc., they're gonna call you a soy boy. They're gonna ridicule you. You're gonna be made fun of, etc. Like, there's real world ramifications for not performing as a man mm -hmm. however and I'll, and I'll take the female side here in a second to show you why it's not 50 50 mm -hmm. on the female side though if you act like a boy or if you're more masculine and you chase a career and you make money etc society rewards you for that they say go get your bag be successful etc so right. if you behave like a man you're respected mm -hmm. and if you behave like a woman you're still respected because they'll be like oh she's a feminine woman she's attractive like some girls might shame you because it's like oh you don't have an education blah 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 but I don't think it's to the same degree as if you're a man and you don't get your shit together. Because if you're a woman, whether you're masculine or if you're feminine, you can still find a dude. But as a dude, if you're just a pussy, a lot of women aren't going to take you seriously. Correct. The thing or is, if you're broke. is that like, there's, like basically what I'm trying to say is there's more consequences for you as a man if you don't stick to your roles versus as a woman. There aren't as many consequences. So that's why I don't think it's equal, but I'll turn it so, to you guys. So let me ask you something. I don't know sure. if you're in a relationship or not. What, if you was to get into a relationship, what are you expecting from your woman? Mm. Uh, well, I do have a girlfriend. I do Ooh. have a main girl. But um, she... So uh, what expectations do you A main girl. Don't skip past that. A girl. girl. Don't skip past that. What do you expect her to continue doing? Uh, well, I mean, from she, what you was raised, what you was taught, and what you was, you know. Her job is to be to be happy and not be a pain in the ass for it to me. Um, and that's what, really and what is job. that? Explain yourself. Let, let me ask. Oh, I'm sorry. Answer the I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm yeah, I mean, her her job is to you know be happy and not be a pain in the ass and you know help me out with things that I need. She helps me manage my real estate. She helps me my, with my other YouTube channel. My um, I have a true crime YouTube channel that I do. She helps me with the research for that. Um, she makes sure like you know miscellaneous bullshit with my real estate stuff because I got like 20 properties 50 plus tenants so she like makes Ooh. sure like the water bills and all that dumb shit is paid mm. she coordinates with my parents because they help manage my real estate in Connecticut so she does a lot of things like behind the scenes and helps me out with that stuff um, and yeah and you know I, I don't think sh uh, she works for me basically well, you, you said, said main girl. girl. Yeah, she works for me. I don't think women should work. Put woman on, period. I don't think women should work, and if they do, I think they need to work for their man period. if they do have a job. Is that not Put a gender role that, that you're imposing on women on. On, today? Sorry? Is that not a gender role that you're imposing on women? And, like, here's the thing. Yeah, I, I, I impose it, right? But that's right. because I'm a traditionally masculine guy. Uh -huh. I would argue a majority of men are not traditionally masculine men, Definitely and they don't not. put these same standards on women. Most guys don't have the balls to stand up to their girl and tell them, I need you to do X, Y, Z. Most guys kind of are happy just to have a girl take them seriously. And that's what I mean mm -hmm. when I say female gender roles are not reinforced because the men don't reinforce them on the women. It's the women can act however they want and they don't put boundaries on that. But I, but on the other hand, like it's not the other way around. I think that generally speaking, a lot of the people that will call men soy boys and uh, shit on them for being not traditionally masculine are the same people that shit on women for chasing their bag and being masculine and not uh, wanting to adhere to yeah, like, it's guys like me but we're a minority 
Okay, exactly. So those people is what I'm saying are the ones that uh, shit on quote unquote soy boys. And a lot yeah. of women today, I think, also are into more feminine guys. Like in my experience, I mean, in my generation at least, that is very much the case. Um, okay, so <laughs> can we break down feminine guys? What does that mean? Um, you know, guys that hey, guys that are more um, in tune with their emotions. It, more guys Wanted that are to, more. Hey, that are, they don't prioritize fitness as much. They don't prioritize financial. Um, you know, uh, making getting money and being a provider. They think that you know they should go half and half with their woman. Guys that are more egalitarian, so to speak, more equal, fifty fifty guys. Now. But that's like feminist guys. That's not even necessarily just like generally feminine dudes. Like I know a lot of feminine dudes that also uh, adhere to some, you know, norms that are currently. So How would you accepted. define feminine? A feminine guy then? How would you define that? I think it's more related to just like uh, expressing both aspects of yourself, like the feminine and the masculine, uh, with a little bit less inhibition as to like how it looks socially. Uh, I think a lot of guys are more internally feminine than they think and that they like act mm, in a way that represses that a lot of the time just uh, okay. like unconscious we can talk about the feminization of men but i mean just to stick to the to the topic at hand remember it was which gender right is punished for not adhering to the roles more men and i argue that men are because if i'm a guy right and i am one of these oh let me be 50 50 or let me like have a more feminine take on things etc like Women aren't going to be as attracted and as aroused by me as if I were to be more uh, traditional. But a woman, on the other hand, can be, let me prioritize my education, let me prioritize making money, let me act like a guy, be like a dude, whatever. She can still find dates. Like, she still has options, right? That man that acts more feminine doesn't have as many options as that woman that acts masculine. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Like, society doesn't punish women for behaving like men, but society absolutely punishes men for behaving like women. Right. We don't have the same mating options that you got that you do, right? Does that make mm -hmm. sense, kind of? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just feel like the part that you're asserting uh, about, you know, you having less options as a guy if you don't adhere to gender roles as strictly than a woman. Like, what is that based on? Um, there's a multitude of different things. So, like, if you look at um, dating apps, right? That's a very basic one. Most men struggle on dating apps. Um, mm -hmm. If you're going to talk about uh, marriage rates have been plummeting, right? Divorce rates are high. Women are initiating it. Um, most men struggle with finding a girl, right? Most guys, uh, I forget which study it was. I think it was either in 2018 or 2020. Study came out saying that like one in three men is either a uh, sexless or a virgin, hasn't had sex in years, is a virgin. So, right. um, you know, a lot of guys really struggle with, with women. And I mean, hell, I mean, I can go around the table here. Do you talk to most men that try to approach you? Mm -hmm. Yes or no? Wait, say that again. Do you give most men the time of day that try to talk to you? No. Most men? Yeah. <laughs> No. No, right? I don't really go outside. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you hermit. You give most men that talk to you the time of day. Yeah, because no, I, I actually do. You're dealing with rappers. You, you, there's no way. You give, I actually do. You give regular niggas a chance? Yes, I do. Okay, fantastic. Wait, they can smash you? Not smash me, but they can have a conversation. I'm I'm big on... Okay, I'm not talking I mean, about... Like, okay, I'm okay. Talking what about kind of opportunity... All right, girls can talk to anybody. Easy, uh, okay, easy. let me let me rephrase because... That, yeah, okay, let no. me rephrase that. <laughs> I mean, as in actually having a real chance with you, not just talking to them to get some out of them or attention like, or whatever, because like, girls love attention, right? I'm talking about a dude that you're like, okay, I can actually date this motherfucker. Like, that's my man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's my man. I didn't know how that is. Okay, so would you say that's a majority or a minority of men? Majority. You have high standards? Yes, I do. So then if you have... I'm all personality. You can look any type of way as long as you have a good personality. If you personality. have high standards, by definition, that means a majority of men don't measure up. Right, but maybe initially sense? they do. So That's what I'm saying. Like, I met a lot of dudes who actually meet but standards. If, but if you have high standards, that means by definition that a majority of men don't rise up because most men are not high to your standards. Nobody tells that me that's not to my standards, so I wouldn't know. Okay. All right. Um, <laughs> you, yeah, yeah, move on. I don't think you see the math. Right I know what you're saying, though, but... If, if you, yeah, if you have high standards, that by definition, that means most men don't qualify for you. I mean, I don't text back, so if I text you back, you got my standards. Oh, my That's my point. Okay, so... Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, so, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So, yeah, yeah. Right. Say, yeah. like, a five... Yeah, yeah. so... Oh, my God. Majority. Yeah. Okay. We got you. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah. You're a lesbian, but if you do get with a guy, it's a, he's got to probably be very good-looking, have a bunch of stuff going on for Everything. himself? Okay, he's got to be a full package. What about you? Uh, I agree, one hundred percent. So, majority of men are not attractive to you. Not really. Okay, what about you? Same. Majority of men aren't. Correct. <laughs> Thanks. What about you? <laughs> no. No. No, I don't give them time. There you day. go. So, even at the uh, here at the table, everyone here is pretty damn selective. So, 
That's what I mean yeah. when I say most men struggle with women. And I would, Yo, yeah. for sure. I, would argue I think that's well. true, but I don't know if that's a product of purely uh, gender roles and like the rejection of them. No, it absolutely is because uh, it, because yeah. women look, for, and I'll tell you why. That it's a component to it. The the, the it, reason why it's definitely a component. I agree. It's a significant component because when women look at men, right? Like men are more interested in what I call replication value. Is she hot? Can she give me good children? Men, women, on the other hand, are looked at looking at it from a more. Um, uh, they're looking at it from a, um, like, does the guy provide? have resources? Mm -hmm. From a resource pr angle, can this guy provide for me and children? So we right. look at the opposite gender differently. So like most men are, let's be honest here, are not in a position to take care of themselves, let alone a woman a and woman. a family. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So Correct. that is why so many men are disqualified because they don't have their shit together financially. Correct. And then you also got to understand, ladies, like, right? When a man accomplishes certain things financially, he mm -hmm. builds certain characteristics that make him attractive. Right. He's more assertive. He's more dominant. Right. He understands how to network and talk to people. He understands right. how to convey himself properly. He doesn't talk like a fucking retail. Yes. Sir. <laughs> like, he's right. able to convey himself in an attractive manner, and he has wor more worldly experience. These are all things that women look for in men. So, right. um, so that's, some, that's something that's missing, especially with your generation of guys that are Gen Zers. Mm -hmm. um, they don't understand how to talk to people. Social media, you can blame it to that degree as well. But also, I'll blame it like the feminization of men, which you were talking about before. I blame a good amount of that on feminism itself because feminism lies to men and tells them women want an equal partner. I disagree with that. I don't think women want an equal partner. I think they want a superior partner. So <laughs> that is why I don't buy the bullshit. And I just, that's why I said, with, like with my chick, for example, you work for me, what I say goes, and this is how it goes. Like she doesn't talk back to me or none of this bullshit. I'm the final right. decision maker. Okay. I don't believe in equality <laughs> and relationships at all. Right. I mean, if you take awesome. care of her, she got to. She got no choice. Hey, if well, you a boss, you a boss. I mean, but, but it, it makes said, her want to more. Yeah, easily. I'm like, yeah. If you provide, that I mean, makes you her want to. Now, with that said, don't get it twisted. I listen to her opinion, however, yeah, right. um, and her suggestions. However, I make the final decision. Mm -hmm. If it doesn't make mm -hmm. sense or whatever, I'll just like, no. We're not doing that. Whatever. So she gets my ear. But I make the final decision. But we, there's a lot of relationships out there where men will sit there and concede to what their woman wants, which I think is a problem. That's a big mm -hmm. mistake. I don't, I don't think women should ever lead relationships ever. So anyway, <laughs> I feel like um, they should voice their opinion. Do you feel like yeah. um, the leader culture and like generation plays a part too, or no? I you said culture and gener and generation. Like, I say for so. instance, if you wh like, where are you from? Oh, my family's from Sudan. Okay, she, it's an Arab Middle Eastern country. And where is she from? Do you feel like she's from Venezuela? Okay, so do you feel like you guys different backgrounds and cultures play no, a part? No, 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 no. Her father is okay. very similar to me, actually. Okay, uh, she came from a two-parent household. Her father's like me. He's very, uh, you know, he's like, hey, you know, this is what it is. No, I, I think culture does play a role in it, obviously. Um, but you know, we live in a very secular world at time nowadays, right? right? Like people don't really acknowledge religion like that. People and with religion, a lot of times traditional conservative roles take place right um so i think there's a bunch of different reasons as to why we are where we are now mm -hmm. um but i do think that feminism is a root cause for a lot of the problems we have socially question yeah by by men being feminine man you think that um feminine fem <laughs> feminized right is what you're trying to ask yeah by men by, being feminized by fe men being feminized do you think that uh, like not even their woman itself like if you're a woman you're woman family was to meet you and by you being a say whatever you just said again men how you think they'll feel upon that like you know you get what i'm saying uh they wouldn't have a problem why not though if, if, if it's a problem for a female why shouldn't it be a problem well she comes from a christian household oh. so they understand that the man's a leader okay. and this is with all abrahamic religions like whether it's islam <laughs> judaism christianity every major religion always puts it's basically our patriarchy. I agree on I mean, that. I mean, real, I agree. real quick. I agree on that. Ladies mm -hmm. in here, would you prefer someone to pay your bills or split half with them? Raise your hand. Pay, pay my your bills, bills, daddy. Raise I your love hand. you. <laughs> <laughs> pay your bills, right? We we, we, could, we could phrase uh, Would you prefer a man that's a provider or a man that you can go 50 50 with? Raise of hands if you prefer a provider. Raise of hands. Like a pay your bills. Are you, are you I, saying 50 50 like I, like I raise No, no, no. Provider as in he, he pays the majority of the real majority. bills. Or would you prefer a 50-50? So first we'll say, do you prefer a provider? Raise your hand. Raise of hands. I have a caveat. Majority. Majority. Okay. Um, a majority. What's your... But if I could be the nigga with the money, that that's cool too. Oh, really? But then you want to lead... Bruh. Hold on. But then you you want to lead your man then? No, I don't want to lead. But so... if I have to be the nigga with the money to like, but for myself... But if, but if you don't have to... If I don't have to... Okay, pay. you see how you kind of <laughs> counteract though, like... But that's this is what no. I mean when I say feminism doesn't make sense. So, like, you, you do realize, like, you just c completely contradicted yourself, right? I'm a Libra, so I see both sides, though. <laughs> you see me like, I'm single Bruh. right now, so right now, yes, of course, I'm handling everything. But when I have a man, baby, 
take over. Yeah, but you would not want to be with a man where you're Provide. paying his bills and oh, providing no, no, for him. No. That's what he's asking. <laughs> but right, I just explained it. Didn't I? <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll, I didn't we'll explain watch. it. Go ahead. Yeah, you. No, you, he you, asked you specifically: Would you be with a man where you're taking care of the financial burden? No. Okay. All right. That, that, yeah, that's good? that's what he was asking. So you, you answered it differently. <laughs> oh, okay, how did I answer it? Because you said I could be the nigga and I could pay the bills. No, I was saying you meant for that myself, when you're single. When I'm single, okay. when I'm single, okay, cool. correct? Yeah, correct. you didn't clarify that. But I want to have a problem mm -hmm. like helping him out if he's not going to proceed to be able to provide for me after all. And how long would you do that for? <laughs> not too long. <laughs> it, it all depends. Because if wait. I see like I'm providing, you just trying to leech off. You me. said a magic word. You said depends. Yeah. <laughs> No. That is that is why women can't be in leadership roles. Mm -hmm. See what it means? Like, could Too you imagine if you're with a man, right? And he's taking care of you. You think he's gonna say some shit like, uh, like, hey, how long are you gonna take care of your girl? Oh, uh, it depends. We do. See how we're different. We like, do. Contribute. That doesn't even come to my mind. Oh, it depends. Let's say like what? Like, no, that's my job. That's my duty as a man. But like for women, it's like if you guys are in a provider role, the time clock is always going on when that provider role is gonna finish. And you find a guy that can actually provide. Yeah. <laughs> that is Does true. that make sense? True. Yeah, that's definitely true. So, um, <laughs> Who is weighing down on me? <laughs> now, we're, you're trying to... Oh, what's your caveat? This is interesting. Uh, So, if the 50-50... Or, yeah, if the 50-50 implies that, like, it's 50-50 in general, and uh, ideas are equally taken into account, and he's not, but like... But you raise the, your hand for a provider. So, you prefer the 50-50, then? Wait. If that's that side, and then the man paying the bills means that he's also like the leader and like doesn't you know he, he calls the shots and shit yeah then i would take the 50 50. okay Agreed. so but you would take the breadwinner <laughs> okay so okay now it makes sense okay so yes. you would take the breadwinner but only if you had an equal say yeah but only if we're like distributing things uh in a way that makes sense and is not just like so he has a so let me get this straight he would have 100 percent of the responsibility but half of the authority but also i would have different responsibilities like that's just like the way that it works i would probably generally speaking have a household that either has at least one joint bank account and a lot of the funds are just pooled um but like if the choice is a uh, man that runs the house but also pays the bills and man that does not run the house and also doesn't pay the bills i'm choosing the one that doesn't run the house and doesn't pay the bills that i okay, pay half and half with me. Oh, she like she don't want a man to have 100% control over her. She want to have half, 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 50 I think he provide for her, but she still got to have her own opinion. Yeah, yeah. no. Right. What, what? Okay, this is what I took from what you said. Correct me if I'm wrong. Confusing. It's, it's me. the two scenarios. The first scenario is he makes all the money, but you want 50% of saying it. Mm. That's the first one. Or if he says, no, you don't get no fucking saying it. You want it. You would prefer the 50-50. Where yes. you bring half the money, he brings out the money, and you guys have equal say. Right. Okay. So I'll be honest with you. The first one, that's not a realistic scenario. Yes. Yeah, not. Um, you cannot have... It is. A lot of people have that. No, no they, they just Hold no, on. They don't. Mm -mm. Hold on. No, they don't. Are you there 24-7? Okay. Yeah. What do you mean am I there good. 24 it, it sounds like they're doing that, but they're really not. Because on paper, you you're saying, like, for example, if they can do 50-50, Oh, 50, am 50, I right? in this situation? I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah, it sounds like it, but in, yeah, in reality, it, it, it never happens well, that way. Here's the thing, man. Um, and, and this is kind of like a ideal like mindset, but it's not real. Like, um, If someone has 100% of the responsibility, a.k.a. bringing in the money, taking care of you, whatever, it's ludicrous to tell them you only have 50% of the authority. My word matters just as much as yours. That's ridiculous, and that's just not how the world works. If I have 100% responsibility, that means I have also 100% authority. Now, what you're saying is, well, I want it to be equitable. Cool. Well, if you want it to be equitable between the two and equal, you know, more egalitarian mindset, then you would have to bring half uh, the financial things. But what I would that's argue... That's not a problem for me, though. And that's fine. That's cool. You say that now. <laughs> but, yeah, you say that now. You, know. you say that now. You're, you're 19 years old, so it's, I'm not going to like try to shit on you. But what I'm saying is that I promise you, as you get older, your standards... On men are going to go up and you're going to be less okay with a 50-50 trade-off with a man. Because what I've realized with women is like, if they go 50-50 with a man, yeah, they'll tolerate it for a bit. But most girls don't want to do that. Especially if you get older, you want to have children, etc. It's very difficult to work a full-time job while also rearing children. And then, yeah, you could always put them in childcare and everything else like that. But why do you want strangers dealing with your kids, especially in today's crazy world? Also, but yeah, think about this. Dang, in reality, right, it is never really 50-50. Mm -hmm. Think about this. Me? It's true. Now, granted, though, let's say we're being equal here. Mm -hmm. What if you're also to be drafted too, as a like as a man? Because you want it to be equal, what? right? Like what being drafted. Well, okay, wait. Let's uh, just the basis of 
I am very likely going to end up marrying a woman and paying half and half anyways. So why do you care then? I don't. I'm just answering the questions. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. I feel like men, because I come from men being the provider, so yeah. Mm -hmm. And men already like have that dominant mindset, so it's just like you can't take that from them. I mean, we can all agree in a perfect world. Not all. Uh, I was going to say. That's a minority of guys. Most guys will sit there and, you know, listen to what their girl says and, you know, let her lead and mm. wear the pants in a relationship. Mm. Cause they don't but you're not speaking on being a provider, though. Oh, oh, you're talking about specifically yeah. provider, let's, let's be real here, though. A lot of guys aren't providers nowadays. So, uh, yeah. as a result... Yeah, that's a minority yeah. of men nowadays, yeah, yeah. unfortunately. But that's why I said, do y'all feel like... Merch. Generation and culture plays a part in it? Or 100%. No? Yeah, yeah okay. it does. Yeah. It does. It absolutely yeah. does. I mean... Yeah, it, it's it, religion plays a part in it, culture plays a part in it, eth- uh, background family. plays a role mm-hmm. in it, family, mm-hmm. all of that. So yeah. right now, what y'all feel like is the most important thing that plays a part in a man feeling like he needs to be a provider? Or y'all feel like men don't care to be providers at this day of age? A majority of men don't care to be providers nowadays. Yeah, why do you feel like that? Why not? I'm I mean, saying there's like, a multitude of reasons why. Um, she's asking what's, what's the biggest contributor? It's like, feminism. Yeah. I'll mm-hmm. say it's, uh, feminism is by far the biggest contributor as to why men no longer... Um, want to be providers yes. because women run around and say I don't I mean hell let's go back literally 15 minutes ago on this podcast we asked you do you need a man a majority of you said no so let me ask you a question if I'll use this analogy let's say you're walking down the street right we give a the, the dream world soundbite. shit soundbite stupid sorry man, that was me yeah cause you're oh yeah oh that's for you stupid okay <laughs> um, let's say you're walking down the street right and you see an old lady and she's like fucking struggling with some grocery bags help She's like fucking, you know, flopping all over the place and all this other shit, right? She just came from Publix, right? We're down here in Florida. She's fucking, you know, struggling. And um, she can't, can barely carry the bags. Would you help her? Yes. Yeah. You would all help her, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's see you see an able-bodied man, great shape, etc. He's He got like 20 bags like this. He's just walking like this. Would you stop him and say, hey, do you need help? Would you yeah. help me? Not if he's not struggling at all. No. He's not struggling. He's, he's like <laughs> no. just trucking. No. Fantastic. No. Yeah, so imagine... That dude that's walking with the bags like this, that's a lot of you single independent women. That's true. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's that's, that's you guys. That's how, right? right? Versus <laughs> why, why would we help you? Why would we help you when you don't need it? Mm-hmm. So that's how right. a lot of men think. It's like, okay, girls make their own money. Why the fuck do I need to step up and make a bunch of money? Why do mm-hmm. I care? Mm-hmm. Right? Women need to understand that like a lot of the modern conveniences that we have now, a lot of the inventions, a lot of the um, uh, success that men have, it's derived from their, uh, their need to compete for women. Mm-hmm. Right to get for attractive sure. women. Mm-hmm. You guys think we fucking wear Rolexes and drive Lambos and all this shit for dudes? No, it fills up to us. We live in a fucking cardboard box. We don't give a shit about none of that stuff. <laughs> it's all a status symbol to attract the most women possible. So, um, when women when there's no longer that need, right, that impetus or need for men to create, and the women are more self sufficient, why the fuck are we gonna help y'all? Yeah, you make yeah. your own money, right? You're strong and independent. Yeah, and then you listen to the rap music. You listen to Music in general, right? We don't need men, etc. Mm-hmm. You know, oh, listen, no. and they oh, poison you guys even more, right? To make you no. realize, oh, all the single ladies, all the shit, and like they they put it on a pedestal that you don't need men. So, it's in the culture. It's with the women. It's it. The fe- women are running around saying that we're strong and independent. We don't need men. So why the hell are guys gonna step up? They don't need to, right? Right. It's That's how a lot of guys. Behavior. It takes a guy like me, right, to sit there and say this is all a bunch of bullshit. Mm-hmm. You guys don't know nothing. Mm-hmm. I'm the leader. Yeah. For a girl to like be like, oh, okay, now I can finally be with a guy and submit, but it's like. I had to break through so much bullshit mm-hmm. to be able to see through the lies mm-hmm. to tell you what it really is, right? Mm-hmm. But most men simply aren't going to do that mm-hmm. because they're going to believe what the world tells them. They're going to believe pop culture yeah, and all this other shit. Agenda. Yep. You I think it's true? Right, man. Definitely the agenda. You think it's true that uh, the majority of men don't care about, like, you know, being ambitious and satisfying their potential and shit aside from how it affects their you know yeah they don't situation with women yeah, no they don't i mean a lot of guys are addicted to porn a lot of mm. guys are you know Sad. just paying for <laughs> prostitutes uh they're you know sex dolls is like an emerging marketplace so um you know and then you look at social media it's like blunted people's ability to speak properly and coherently so ai yeah ai so th- there's a lot of things uh that are in play obviously right and i don't want to sit here and blame it but th- this is just the reality that we're in so like yes a lot of men aren't necessarily as ambitious and also you got to keep in mind too ladies and i talk about this in my book why women deserve less. Uh, I talk about how feminism effectively doubled the workplace. So if you double the workplace um, employees, well, guess what? As an employer, you could pay half as much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It used to be, you go back maybe 60, 70 years ago, you used to be able to sustain a family on one income and have a house. Correct. You can't do that anymore. Right. And it's because of inflation. It's also because 
feminism has basically doubled the workforce. So now, now women are competing for men with men in these same job markets. And that's why if you look at job markets that women don't dominate, what do they tend to be? They tend to be higher paying mm -hmm. and labor more laborious. Construction work, electrician, plumbing, all these blue collar jobs that women don't want to do, do, they're still high paying. Why is that? Well, because women aren't in these workplaces anymore. Or sorry, they were never in these workplaces. Mm -hmm. So they're still able to pay a high wage. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of what it is. So there's a multitude of different reasons why guys aren't ambitious, but that that's a part of it. So what you believe in, 50 50 or provided? Because I know of yourself, well, you're saying yeah, you're yeah, 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 like, yeah, I was going to say, yeah, you provide provider. for your girl. I get that. But if it was like something you would do, like. I like, honestly feel like he on the provider side because. Because that's what he, he said. said that, but I, mean, like, you know, you that. Explain that. I don't believe. Like, I, don't, I don't believe in. Let's just go to Rumble. I'll just because I can't say this shit on YouTube. So just go out. Guys, come on over to Rumble. We'll cut. We'll. Uh, because I already know uh, uh, they're going to fucking start bitching at me on YouTube for this shit. Cause Cause they've, they've already told me before, you can't say that on here. So, guys, come I'm on sorry, over to Rumble and I'll say exactly what it is. Because I was going to say respectfully, I'm big on 50-50. Like, uh, I'm, I'm raised in a house with mothers. Like, I, I feel like 50-50 will my to come. my daddy, but I'm raised in a house. My mom is married to a female. She's been married since I was four. So, you know. You said a female? Yeah, to oh, a okay. female. So, you know, I'm really, I, I was taught things a different way, including, like, my culture, since you said big on culture, mm -hmm. like you said, I'm Haitian, Jamaican, and Bahamian, you know, so my granddad's Haitian. <laughs> I have a real Haitian granddaddy from the <laughs> islands. So, you know, my granddaddy always, yep. like, even though he was a provider for my grandpa, my grandmother, he always taught me, like, in order to a man to provide for you, you got to provide for yourself mm -hmm. or show him what you're able to do. Like, if you're able to take care of yourself and able to do things for yourself, that would determine if a man want to provide for you. Like, yeah, at the beginning, I'm big on 50-50. Like, my first day, I promise you, you can ask many men. If I take you on a, if I ask you to go on a date, I'm going to pay. If you ask me, I don't prefer you to pay, but I would consider it. Like, I'm big on 50-50 because I really don't like... You feel me? I can have my muscle and feminine ways, as y'all call it, but I also have my very, like, feminine ways. Masculine ways? Yeah, masculine, masculine ways and my feminine, feminine ways. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I have she my mad. masculine ways when I want to sit here and, like, show a guy. Like, you have some guys that sit there and be <laughs> like... Oh. Yeah, we switch. Yeah, I, have, I done talked to a few guys that really thought, like, we only I only want to talk to them for money, but me being a provider myself and provider for... All right, not let's go with myself. this 50-50 mindset that you yeah. have. Yeah. Let's say you were with a guy on and Monday, Wednesday, and uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, he wears heels. But then the other four days, he wears uh, regular clothing. What would you say to that? What? Why the fuck wear heels? <laughs> 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 I'm just asking. Cheer well, well, him. Would you would you accept that? No. So he can't be half masculine and half feminine. But that's like outward expression. Right. That's not like the way you are. It's just do you wear heels or not? I'm going somewhere with this. <laughs> I'm trying to see where you're going. Yeah, so so would you be okay with that? Would you accept a man that was act like a lady on, you know, three days of the week, 50-50, and then the other 40? Uh, hey, I'll give you a 60-40. The 60% of the time he acts like a man, 40% uh, of the time he acts like a woman. Would you accept that? He has his feminine ways and his masculine ways. Would you be okay with that? Girl, say no, because no. you ain't no, gonna right? do, you ain't gonna <laughs> do no nigga that's hell. That's no, over here. So, I mean, we're not doing that. If you that. call feminine, like y'all so call some females okay. call feminine emo because they express their emotions. Okay. That's why no. I want to know what you mean by that. Okay, like, so fi I find it interesting how you would not accept a man that was partly feminine, but you expect us to accept women that are partly masculine. But is she? Hold on, let that sink in. <laughs> I find it interesting <laughs> that women think it's appropriate. To be part masculine and be part feminine, but if I was part feminine and part masculine, you guys would never accept me. So why the fuck do you think men are going to accept you? So men wearing heels. That was a rhetorical question. Okay. What I mean oh by this is this. No way. Yeah, I want to yeah. see where you're going no, with this because you gonna, always give gonna, me a good I'm going to bring it full circle here. You said wearing heels. What I'm Watch saying, me. yeah, uh, I'm doing that, you <laughs> know, obviously for shock example. value. But the, re no. the reality is, regardless, whether it's wearing heels or twisting his hand like this or getting a pedicure <laughs> or a manicure or being super metrosexual or being super interested in um, high-end fashion and taking longer to get ready than you, mm -hmm. regardless of what feminine trait I use, you would not like it. For a majority of women would not like it. So what I'm trying to establish here is this. Women don't like feminine men. As a matter of fact, you're programmed to be repulsed by it for a reason. Because if a man acts like a woman, his ability to provide for you is diminished. And mm -hmm. if he can't provide for you, he's effectively fucking useless. He's a liability. No woman wants to provide for a man. So I find it interesting, right, that you guys would never accept a feminine-ass woman, but you guys expect us to accept 
super masculine women that want to go 50-50, mm-hmm. tell us that their opinion matters, mm-hmm. tell us that they're equal to us, oh, tell us God. that, you know, etc. all this bullshit. I genuinely believe that women want a man who's superior to them. Well, guess what? If you want a man that's superior to you, what does that make you? Inferior. Mm-hmm. Okay? And, and there's nothing wrong with that. But I'll be fucking damned if I get to a point where I'm the superior, bust my ass to build the body up in the gym, build my money up, build my status up, be able to speak eloquently, be charming and charismatic, and all these fucking things that you ladies want, by the way, because your standards are high, most mm-hmm. of you. Mm-hmm. And then you're going to sit there and tell me, well, my opinion matters more than you. We're no, the equal. fuck it doesn't. We're equal. <laughs> no, the fuck it doesn't. No, I don't. And to be very frank with you, I don't listen to what women say most of the time because you guys don't live the same experience that we do. Mm-hmm. Most women are not equipped to tell me anything because you guys don't live life as a man. Correct. Men live a significantly ha- harder life than women do. We don't have certain opportunities <laughs> and certain things that women have. And life is just easier for y'all, especially in 2024. So I look at it as a man, it's my duty to not only be a leader, to be a provider, to be a voice of reason, etc., it's my duty to not let you lead anything because you don't know what the fuck to lead because you live a lot easier life than we do. Mm-hmm. So if you're in the military, right, and you're in the middle of battle, there's fucking guns going off and shit like that and fucking chaos, right? And, you know, you're a soldier and then your fucking, you know, lieutenant is freaking out. Oh, I don't know what to do. What do you want to do? Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> mm-hmm. Are you going to listen to him when he tells know. you, hey, go over here? No. no, right? Because he's not sure what the fuck is going on. That's life. As a man, life is chaos. You are supposed to be composed, stoic, lead your girl appropriately. This is what the fuck it is. What the fuck am I going to look like asking you for advice? You're the soldier. Yeah, don't ask me. I'm the fucking lieutenant. I'm the general in this motherfucker. The the ship either sinks or swims off of me. So that is why I don't think women should ever have an authority role because you guys really can't lead nothing with all due respect. Your job is to be pretty, quiet. And be available when I need and you. Nurse. Shut your fucking mouth. And Genuine. that's why, and that's why yeah. I said like Martin, I would just go with a provider <laughs> because that's already instilled <laughs> in a man's head. The you, you already instilled to be a leader. You already instilled to be dominant. You already instilled to well, minority, make but, yeah. sure yeah. to yes. bring what you have to bring to your household. So if you trying to go, if you trying to be as a woman. If you're trying to be a provider, like, I don't see no benefit because it's going to get to a point you're going to be like, this shit too much. Yeah. This shit and too you know, it's interesting. Like, I'm not going to mention who, but I know <sighs> a bunch of women that are super successful, make a lot of money, big social media followers, whatever. Behind the scenes, they're breaking down fucking crying. Mm-hmm. Yep. Getting close to 30 or in their 30s. Oh, my God. I can't fucking do this shit no more. Damn. This is annoying. I fucking hate it, etc. Women simply don't react to stress the same way men do. We're stronger than you guys physically. We're mentally tougher than you guys, and there's a reason for that. That mm-hmm. God created us differently. Exactly. Men are designed to with to to um to um withstand stress. Women are not. You know, what I mean? you guys simply aren't. You guys are designed to to incubate the next generation of children. We're designed to fucking create resources for that children. So we're just different. And I think whenever women are put in positions where they got to earn resources and get into the job field, etc., they can do it for a period of time, mm-hmm. but they can't do it long term like a man can. Right, so it's anyway. stressful. Can I go back on a question you asked earlier about us needing men in our life? Because by you saying what you said, I really just thought about it, like sat yeah. back and thought about it. Personally, respectfully, I really now thinking about it and sitting back and realizing <laughs> females do need men. In That's their why life I said I because need men. only because they <laughs> change your mind now. This is why I say that man. though. Because yeah. hear me out. Stand, hear me out. Stood on another because person. Now, I agree some, with you. Some women are born without a father figure. Hello. Yeah. Or born without males. Like yeah, I got thirteen brothers, but I'm born without a father figure. My mom is gay, so I'm born with a stepmom. You feel me? So I don't have a father figure. So I would not mind a man coming in and scraping me up because it's like certain things I'm not adjusted to and men can give me that. Like I could be around 30,000 females and they could be like, no, girl, don't do this, don't do that. It's but a as a man understanding and knowing and visually seeing it mm-hmm. and able to like establish it to me like, hey, mm-hmm. you really like, you need some guidance. And well, ain't I'm, no female because these nicer, guidance like You're me. nicer than it about, I gen, I think women give each other terrible fucking advice. Right, they do. I've, Most I've, of the time. Because you hear your friend tell you, oh, this nigga ain't nothing. He ain't nothing. In reality, he actually trying to tell you something that could financially help you and stable exactly. you. Like, exactly. I done had friends who'd be like, oh, leave this dude alone. And then this actual dude that helped me from the bottom is. Exactly. You feel me? So I did want to go back to that question and say, yes, men are very like, they... 
Yeah, you and do then, need a man in your life. And then too, without a man, how you gonna set foundations for yourself? Part. How you gonna how you gonna lead mm, like preach, your generation for that yourself? Part. You yeah. need a man for one, like you just said, it's hard right now. Right. It's yeah, hard. Queen. If you got somebody that's that's supporting you <laughs> and, mm-hmm. and and making sure that you good, you need a man. Church. I'm not I'm not, you know, right. turning down women or you know I am. Cause <laughs> straight up, Girl. females could tell you anything. I, I'm going to say women because at the end of the day, a female could tell me, any, oh, yeah, girl, this, that, that, and low-key hating, but a man going to be blunt. And men I never met patient. a man that was not so, blunt and keep it sugar-coated. Like, if I'm not doing right, let me know. A nigga going to keep that a so, blunt. Like, you you fucking up, it, straighten up. It sounds good. Are you going to find a man now? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> honestly, I need my man I, to find when I get a man. A, she got a man. When I get a man, <laughs> you? respectfully, if I get a man, I want somebody who could give me guidance. Like, I done went through a lot of stuff, the worst of the worst at a young age. So, so I what happened to 50-50, though? Yeah, no, I, when, I say, when I say, listen, when I say 50-50, this what I mean. 50-50. Like, a man, yeah, you could do it as you please, but I, I just want to, like, as a female, my opinion, many, I want to voice many, it because many. some females, that cause depression. You should not allow your female to not be able to express themselves and how the they mic. feel without depression. Then it comes to closure, and then now you feel like a female not being... You know, Genuine. so, yeah. you know, like he said, he listened to his female. That's a good thing. Like, yeah, you make the last decision, but hear her out. Yeah. I that's, respect that. Right. That's fair. That's, yeah. Yeah, pretty much. I just want to see what she's going to do next, but hey. <laughs> give, me, right. give me to my birthday. I better have a man or everybody going to do that. <laughs> everybody going to be single. <laughs> um, all right. Was there any, any uh, did anyone have any disagreements or anything on that? I know uh, that might be shocking for some of you guys. Some women call me a misogynist for saying that shit, but I, I think <laughs> that is, I'm, I don't. I think I'm not being misogynistic. I think I'm being very realistic as like what women look for in men. They don't look for men that are going to sit there and be agreeable with them. And yeah. oh, yeah, your worldview matters. Like, I, I feel yeah. like it comes down to I think to most pride things, too. yeah, most mm-hmm. things that you said, you did make some valid points. I don't agree with everything that you said, but like for the what? most part. What do you disagree with specifically, though? No, uh- <laughs> um, just like the small details that you said, how some women hold men to certain standards. I just feel like it just depends on the relationship, um, where you are, the generation, because certain standards that probably like my mom or my grandmother accepted from a man, I probably won't accept. That's true. That's true. So, Such as what? Can you give me an example? Hell no. I can't think from the top of my head. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah. About yeah. all that. I be talking, nigga. Well, you know? I guess you got a man, so. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Um, I feel like I overall agree with what you're saying for sure. I feel like you're making good points. But it does also kind of depend on a person-to-person basis. Exactly. Because there's plenty of men that are, you know, have more feminine tendencies, I guess. But it has nothing to do with how they dress, you know? It's more with um, just the way they think, the way they, you know, communicate. I mean, I was giving a more outwardly example, but but there's other feminine tendencies that women... Okay, for example, a guy that sits there and argues with you, that's a feminine tendency, Uh, Mm -hmm. right? I don't argue with women, like, besides the podcast, but, like, I'm not going to argue, like, with my chick. (laughs) Well, well, I don't... I I fucking hate it, because women are illogical, but... um, um, but it's like, if I'm not getting paid to do it, I ain't fucking arguing with chicks. So, like, right. with girls that I'm seeing, like, I don't argue with them. It's like, this is what it is. Well, I disagree. Well, leave. Get the fuck out of here. Like, I don't... Yeah. Uh, you know, I was saying, like, we don't negotiate with terrorists. We don't negotiate yeah. with women over here. Right. It's my way of the highway. Mm-hmm. Um, so, I see your perspective, like... Um, but that's an example. If you want a more, like, relatable thing. A guy that argues with you, that that's an L. Because if he's yeah. arguing with you, that means that you guys are equal. Correct. Yeah. So, that's an L. And this is another reason why I'm such a big proponent... You have to make significantly more than your woman. I think a guy should mm-hmm. be making double to triple as much as a girl. So if she says some dumb shit, you can tell her shut up. <laughs> and, I, and women want that and shit. They'll mm-hmm. shut up. Yeah, exactly. they want that Wait, shit. I'm gonna yes, shut up. But if you're a fucking <laughs> broke, <laughs> and okay. it's not just the money too. You need to be in shape. You need to have your shit together. You need to be uh, well able to compare yourself. Well rounded. You think that's for everyone? I like, like being a see that. When you start saying like little stuff like oh be in shape, some women like fat men. I tell no, you. No, they don't. That, that's, a, that's a lie. Some, some people so, do. No, I they don't. Somebody they don't. Don't. I love my chubby man in December. So I know the only person. time, the, 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 the reality in is... In December, I be cold. So, let him talk, let him talk, let him talk. So when girls say this shit, it's a lie. So <laughs> let, let me explain what I mean by this. Let me explain what I mean by this. There's attraction, then there's arousal, right? A guy can be fat and be attractive. Maybe he has a good personality. Maybe he has some money. That's mm-hmm. typically what does it. He has some status. Cool. 
But is a girl actually aroused by him? Does she actually want to fuck this guy a lot of times? The answer is a profound no. She just deals with it because of other things. Mm -hmm. And she's he's been able to build up some attraction or whatever, but... The reality is, when you look at what women are actually aroused by, and what they're, it's it's a very s small archetype of man. Um, one to six shoulder ratio, right? Slim way, a uh, uh, slim waist, sh broad shoulders, in shape, etc. Now, will some women accept a fatter guy? For sure, right? Some girls will accept it, but what are they actually aroused by? They want the guy that's in shape. So mm -hmm. I don't think a woman sits there. It's kind of it's cope. It's like when a guy says, "Oh, I'll, I'll fuck fat bitches." I guess no, it does. Like, it depends no, on what you mean by fat. Yeah, yeah, some people like, just do it. Like, like, like some guys will say, what "Oh, I like fat girls." Okay, motherfucker. If I gave you two Kill million dollars and a blue check on Instagram, you're gonna be fucking models tomorrow, and you're gonna stop fat girls. People, a lot of the times, <laughs> what they'll do is, yeah, that's like true. People, a lot of times, what they'll do is they'll it. attribute <laughs> what they're dealing with, right? They'll attribute like, "Oh, these are the women I'm currently seeing, or these are the men I'm currently seeing. I like this." No, you fucking don't. Your sexual market value isn't high enough to get what's ideal. You're dealing with fat Yikes. losers because that's what you can attract. Right. But if you were a bad bitch, because why is it that the <laughs> girls that are models or celebrities or whatever, why is they either dealing with A, guys that are extremely attractive or guys that are extremely rich and have some kind of status? Mm -hmm. Because women understand that's where it is. something's got to come Same level. with mm -hmm. it. So that's that's what I mean when I say what women say, you, you say fat, women like fat guys. Not really. Well, if you're talking about fat fat, I think 